Hi, I'm Derek with WeBoost. Today I've got Megan to Spain with me from customer support to help us answer a commonly asked question, when and how to do a signal test. So Megan, what exactly is a signal test and when do you recommend doing one? So a signal test is just a more accurate way of taking a signal around the house or the area where you're doing an install. Um, bars really aren't that accurate. It's more of a generalization. So when doing a signal test, it just gives us a more accurate reading so that we can know better if booster will work for you, if there's fluctuation, or any other issues that could be caused with signal. Um, we generally recommend two times of the, there are two different times that we recommend doing the signal test. Uh, first, if you want to purchase a signal booster and are wondering which one will work best for you, a decibel test will give you an accurate measurement of the signal at your location. From this information, you can make an informed decision on which booster will work best and how much coverage area you can expect. Second, if you already own a signal booster and are troubleshooting to see if the booster is working properly or how much boosted signal it is producing. All right, so basically if you want to purchase a signal booster or if you've already got one and want to see how it's working. Yeah. Okay. So that tells us when we would want to do one, how do we go about doing so? So there are a couple of ways to do that um, based on which phones you have. Uh, there are different ways to do it for an iPhone and for an Android. Uh, we recommend apps for these unless with an iPhone you have an iPhone 5 or 6, in which case there is a test mode you can go into. Whenever assessing which booster will be best for your location, there are a few key things to pay attention to. How large an area you are looking to cover and how strong the signal is at that location. To gather this information, put your phone into field test mode, which shows the decibel reading. I'll show you how to do that in a moment. Then take readings on all sides of the home outside. If you are limited to an installation requiring the receiving antenna to be inside, please take readings at all possible window areas. Write down the signal readings at each location so you know which side of the house has the best signal. From here, you can check out the specs from each booster or call our customer support. Let us know what signal you're getting at your home and how much area you'd like to cover and we'll be glad to help you choose the booster best for your situation. We also have an article about this and how to choose the best booster for you here. If you're troubleshooting your booster or want to see how it is performing, simply put the phone into field test mode and check the signal level with the booster on and again when it is off. Also, take a reading at the external antenna or the antenna in the window area and one near the internal antenna. This will let you know how much improvement in the signal you're seeing, and it'll also let you know if there's an issue with your booster. To put your phone into field test mode, you'll need to follow these steps. On an Android device, we recommend an app called Signal Check Lite. Download this and look at the RSSI reading right underneath the heading label 1XRTT800. If this does not pop up, there will also be an RSRP that you will want to look at. This is your signal level in decibels. First, disable the LTE. This step only applies to the iPhone 5 or 6. Go into Settings, then go to Cellular, then Cellular Data Options, and then disable your LTE. Next, you will go to your dial pad and dial star 3001 pound 12345 pound star, then press Call. In the top left-hand corner where your bars used to be, you will see a negative dB reading. If the number isn't showing up, you're going to want to swipe up from the bottom of your screen and place your phone into airplane mode for about 30 seconds. That way, your negative signal will show instead of your bars. We found that the iPhone 7 and newer have issues doing the field test mode, so we have an app that we'd like you to download instead. For these phones, you're going to want to download an app called RF Monitor from the App Store. It's free. You will then go and turn off your LTE and Wi-Fi. To do this, you will go to Settings, Cellular, Cellular Dial Options, Enable LTE, and turn it off. Then open the app. Your signal level is displayed at the top left of the screen here. Here are a few tips for when checking your signal. A negative 50 is about as good as a signal you'll ever get. A negative 105 is very poor signal. At this level, you will begin to experience dropped calls. If the number is not updating, put your phone into airplane mode and then take it out of airplane mode and repeat the steps. It may take the number about 30 seconds to change. When you're done doing the signal test, don't forget to turn your LTE back on if you're using an iPhone. And that covers it. All right. Well, thanks, Megan. Yeah. If you've got any questions, leave us a comment or call one of our helpful representatives, and they'd be happy to help you out. Don't forget to watch some of our other videos and subscribe to our channel for great videos like this every week. Thanks for watching. Catch you next time.